Can you talk a little bit about that experience, what that was like? I, I read uh, in your one of your blogs on your site, and you're a great writer, by the way. I read um, that it took you three years, which I didn't realize it was that long to be completely done. Yeah, yeah. So once I got switched over, it took me six to eight weeks to transition over from the Xanax to the Valium. And then once I was fully transitioned to Valium, it took... It was exactly three years, two months, and ten days, I believe. But who's counting? Uh, but it was it was it was a very long process. Now I did I was diagnosed with breast cancer during the middle of the taper, and so I had to hold a couple of months, hold my dose during you know surgery. So that delayed me a little bit. But uh, you know, even if I hadn't had that, it would still would have been a multi year process. Um, and despite me going slow, it was. I mean, I, I counted up to 80 different symptoms that I experienced. Um, right. I saw that. And I, that's still that not that number just blows my mind. That's a lot. I know it was a lot. And it wasn't just a laundry um, list of symptoms. It was the fact that it was just so utterly disabling. I mean, this affected my daily life and towards the latter half of the taper, I became more and more, um, bed bound. Um, you know, there was just days I couldn't, I couldn't even hardly leave my room. And so it was, it was just really hard to manage a life, especially that, you know, I'm a mom with a child. So, I mean, I had to have a lot of help during that time. 